Okay, so this is problem number 44, P44 of chapter 3. And in this problem, um, we're given, we're told that we have some DC voltage source. And we're asked to find the internal resistance of the internal voltage of the voltage source and also the internal resistance of the voltage source. So we're going to look for the VS. The voltage source itself has some internal voltage which we can model in series with its own internal resistance. So we have some VS and some RS. Okay? And in order to find those, we have to have some information. We have two unknowns. So what we're given is that we're connecting a voltmeter to that and we get a certain reading. The voltmeter itself has 10 mega ohms of internal resistance, um, which is pretty typical. So when we're connected, we're told that when we connect to the voltmeter, the voltmeter has its internal resistance. And um, remember, to connect or take a measurement, we connect in um, the, um, the uh, voltmeter is connected right here. And if I can draw a resistor, we have 10 mega ohms of um, internal resistance from the voltmeter. And when we do that, we get a voltage reading of 50 millivolts. So that's the first piece of information we have in finding what that is. And the second piece of information we have is, well, then we do something else. We take the voltage source with its unknown voltage reading and its unknown internal resistance, and then we connect it to a 15 mega ohm resistor, and then we get a different reading. Now this is connected in parallel with the voltmeter, which has its own 10 mega ohms of resistance. And then when we do that, we get a reading of 48.75 millivolts. Okay? So now we have two pieces of information, which means we can build two equations. And since we have two unknowns, we have enough information to solve those equations and find out what this is. So how do we, so this will yield one set of equations, this will yield a second set of equations, and then we'll use our um, simultaneous equation solver to find out what Vs and Rs is. So the setup of both problems will be the same. In this one, we know, what do we know? We know that the voltage drop measured across here is 50 millivolts when connected here, so we have a basic, basically we have a, um, a resistor here, a resistor here, a voltage reading here. We can use voltage division to solve this problem. We know that we get a reading of 50 millivolts here, which is 50 times 10 to the negative 3. That's going to be equal to, we use voltage division, say this is going to be the voltage source times 10 times 10 to the 6 ohms. That's going to be over Rs plus 10 times 10 to the 6 ohms. That's equation 1. So the second equation, the second equation is going to come from connecting the 15 mega ohm in series, in series with the reading here, and then we take a parallel reading across here with our voltmeter, and we get 48.75 millivolts. So the only difference here is we have to consolidate this into one resistor before we're able to use voltage division. So 15 in parallel with 10 is going to be 1 over 15 plus 1 over 10. Raise that, invert that, and that will give you 6 mega ohms. So we can replace this with 6 mega ohms. 
and then use voltage division here. Okay, and then it's exactly identical to this problem. This is a voltage division problem again, and this is our second equation. We have 48 Point seventy five times ten to the negative third, that is equal to Vs Vs times six times ten to the six over Rs plus ten oops plus six times 10 to the 6. We have two equations, two unknowns. We can rewrite, do cross multiply here, right? So let's park this one up here. Our equation number 2, we're going to park up here 48.75 is equal to times 10 to the negative third is equal to Vs 6 times 10 to the 6 over Rs plus 6 times 10 to the 6. Okay, that I'm going to take care of in just a second. Here, let's distribute the Vs through. This becomes 10 times 10 to the 6 ohms Vs. Now we cross multiply to solve this. Right? This gives me 50 times 10 to the negative thirds Rs, plus this times this will give me 500,000. Negative third, negative three, plus uh, six is three. 50 times 10 is 500, that gives me 500,000, is equal to 10 times 10 to the six Vs. I'm gonna bring the Vs here and bring the 500 over there. This will give me 50 times 10 to the negative third Rs minus 10 times 10 to the sixth Vs is equal to negative 500,000. That's equation number one. So, I'm going to move this up here. Negative third Rs minus 10 times 10 to the 6th Vs equals negative 500,000. We're going to do the same thing, cross multiply, to get a second equation from equation number 2. Equation number 2 is 48.75 times 10 to the negative thirds times Rs plus 6 times 10 to the 6th that's equal to 6 times 10 to the 6th Vs. Distributing that through gives me, one second, well this gives me 48.75 times 10 to the negative third Rs. This is going to give me 6 times 6 times 10 to the 6th times 48.75 times 10 raised to the negative third. This gives you 292,500. It's equal to 6 times 10 to the 6th Vs. Bring the Vs over and bring the uh, 292 over there. will give us our second equation, which is 48.75 times 10 to the negative thirds. Rs minus 6 times 10 to the 6th Vs, that's equal to negative 292,500. Okay, so here, you should know how to solve simultaneous equations, and how to do that um, is a different lesson. Um, but, more importantly, we have, a, we have Rs, two equations, two unknowns, and we use our simultaneous solver to solve that, or you can 
use whatever you feel like or are most comfortable with, but I like to use the simultaneous equation solver to do that. So I'm going to go 50 times 10 to raise to the negative third for the RS, and then negative 10 times 10 raised to the sixth, and negative 500, 48.75 times 10 raised to the negative third, negative 6 times 10 to the sixth, and then negative 292, 500, and then solve it. And what that gives you is when you solve all that, you end up with RS is equal to 400,000 and BS is equal to 0 0.052 and that is 400 kilo ohms and that is um, 52 millivolts, which is the answer to parts A and B. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.